So I'm doing an oil change on my T4 and I've got a 17 millimeter socket there. Oil catch can obviously. I've got the new oil filter here. I've got funnel and this tool here for removing the old oil filter and putting this one on. And I've gone for 10W40 semi-synthetic. Synthetic is generally better than mineral oil overall, but I have read that sometimes these engines maybe don't like synthetic as much, so I've gone for a compromise. Semi-synthetic oil, and it's also nice and cheap. And I've started off by putting this on bricks. This is actually a lowered van, so it's a little bit more of a hassle for me. You might not even have to do that. And I've got a hydraulic jack under there, just lift it up a little bit more and give some extra support. But I need to start by loosening the oil filter. It's down there. You can just see that round thing there, that's the oil filter. But I've got to get underneath the van. It's actually really awkward to get to on these. You have to go underneath and then it's sort of approach it from behind the engine. So this is incredibly difficult to film, but I'm right underneath the van now and you can see the oil filter there, the black cylinder. I'm going to get my tool on that and then unscrew that and remove that. There will be quite a bit of oil spillage here, so just look out for that. So that old filter came off nice and easily and it's quite messy. You can see my tool there. <laughs> That's what you've got to look forward to. And it's just catching a little bit of oil that's still dripping from there. I'm going to wait for that to drip for a little bit and then I'll clean it up with a rag and then we'll move on to draining the rest of the oil. So this here, this is the oil drain. This is a 17 millimetre bolt. I'm going to undo that now. And when I do this, the oil is going to shoot out in that direction. So you want to place this catcher so that it will catch drips from here and also oil shooting that way. So the oil drain plug here, just giving it a little clean up and it comes with this copper washer. It's a good idea to get a new one of these each time you do an oil change. I actually didn't get around to getting one so I'm just going to reuse the old one. Once this is finished dripping, it will drip for quite a while, I usually leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Eventually just put the plug back in, clean it up and then we'll move on to putting the filter on. Okay so I've put the drain plug back in. Tightened it up nicely, it doesn't have to be too tight, just so it's going to stay in. I've cleaned around the area with a rag, and then, of course, we've got the old oil here in the oil filter. This oil, the old oil, can actually be poured down the toilet, and this can just be thrown in the bin. No, I'm just kidding. This needs to go to a tip, both of these, to your local tip. They'll have uh, disposal facilities for those. Now we just need to fit the new filter. So what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of the new oil here and just run it around here on this rubber seal before I screw it on. I won't be able to film this, it's going to be too awkward to film, but I'm going to get back up where the filter was and you can see the thread here, it's only a small thread, that just screws on. I'll hand tighten it and then I'll just give it a little bit extra with the, with the tool that I've got. Okay, so oil filter is all back on and tightened. The sump plug is back in and tightened. So the only thing this is missing is the new oil. So we're going to unscrew this here. Go and grab the funnel. This is a 2.4D engine. I'm not sure about the other ones, but this one takes five and a half litres. So I've got the five litres here and the one litre there. So what we are aiming for is to get it to just the right level. We're going to use this dipstick here. We know it's roughly five and a half litres, but we might need a little bit more because of the oil filter holds some as well. So this dipstick here, we're going to try and fill up so that it's somewhere here between the, um, the min and the max there. And what we're going to do is fill it up in increments, keep 
plunging the dipstick in, checking the level, make sure you don't overfill it because you can damage your engine if you've overfilled it. And if I put too much in, I've got to get back under there and start draining more, which I really don't want to have to do. So take it very slowly, check as you go. Right, so <clears throat> I know that I've not put enough in because I haven't even put five litres in yet, but I'm always super careful with this. So wipe that clean. Give it a plunge. Pull it back out. You can actually see there, it's exactly on the halfway point. So, it might be because the filter itself holds a lot of oil. I didn't fill the filter with any oil, so if I start the engine, it's going to circulate a lot of that oil. Some of it will go into the filter, and then I might need to add a little bit more afterwards. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jack out and get this onto flat level. That's another important factor when getting the oil measurement completely right. You don't want it on a slope. So I'll do that and then I'll, I'll measure it again. So after running the engine for a short while and putting it on flat ground, I can now see the oil level is below where it needs to be. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Still not there. So we can see here it's in the acceptable range, but on the lower end. So can I add a little bit more? That looks just about perfect to me. So that's the job done, and I only ended up using not even all of this, there's a little bit left in this. This one isn't even open, so I'm going to return this. And that just goes to show you should check as you're going along because I was very tempted just to pour all of this in and then start checking on the second one. This van is supposed to hold one of them and half one of them. Obviously not everything drained out during the change, but nothing I can do about that. But that's it, really easy job. Difficulty rating, I'd say, three out of 10. Anyone can do this, as long as you are comfortable crawling under the van, which is a little bit intimidating, but the actual job, really easy.